Welcome to Skulls with Mandy. Today's gonna be all about skulls. So I guess I will start with a little bit about me. I'm Mandy Gibson. I'm the owner of Freak Show FX. We create the freaks. Oh yeah. You can uh, Instagram and all that good stuff's up there. Um, I uh, am an instructor. I teach at conventions. Um, I also work in the haunt industry. And if you know me, I'm known as like the queen of scary. I'm not gonna sit the queen of horror. I know I say that word weird, but yeah. So uh, a lot of people know me for my scary stuff. I love scary. I can do pretty too. People think I can't do pretty because I'm the queen of scary, but I can people, I can. Hello, Erica, welcome, Jessica, welcome. So yeah, that's a bit uh, about me. What's up, Thomas? Um, so I'm gonna start with, before we start to dive in, Aubrey could know, hello, Aubrey. I have, I have, I have a tough show to uh, follow after Miss Aubrey and the fabulous Shane. So we're gonna start off, I actually have this really cool handout that I did for a convention. And we're just gonna kind of touch on this real quick. And then we will dive into some makeups. So, let's see, take the light off of it a little. So here you can see like I have a couple different eyes. So you never really wanna do those big black eyes. Thank you, Aubrey. You don't wanna do big black eyes. So you can see like in the ones I've done, how it has that nice blending and it's going, hey Sylvia, hey Weiser. So it's gonna, it's gonna make it look more like a hole and less just full on black around the eye. And when you can do really cool skulls, you can make a ton of money at festivals with them. At festivals, I do a half skull. I never do a full skull anymore at festival, bleh, festivals and fairs. And I charge anywhere from 15 to 25, depending on the festival. So, so yeah, so that's, and we'll post these worksheets uh, on my page and um, Donna's page and stuff, so you guys can see them. So, so yeah, so you can see here's how you don't wanna do the eyes. And you gotta think like the bigger the eye, the more cartoonish, the smaller, the more scariest. Scariest, is that a word? I don't know. Yeah, no panda eyes, no panda eyes. So when me and Alejo are teaching, like we try to really embed that into people's brains. So yeah, so that's eyes. So let's move on to teeth because I don't want to be on this workout this too long. So yes, half skulls are quicker, which means you're going to be able to it's, think of it like waitressing. With waitressing, the more you can flip your tables, the more money you're gonna make. So same thing with your festival designs. Like the quicker you can flip that design, the more you can make. And when you do skulls like this and people see them, like you're gonna get a lot of people coming to your tents to get them. All right, so teeth. So you never wanna do like, uh, I forget what that gum is. But a chiclet gum, I think, you never want to do your teeth big like this unless you're doing that very pop art cartoonish look. Hey, Wendy. Well, hello, Shane Fennard. And you don't want to have them like all over the place like so. Here is the proper way. So you really want to start big to small. So that way it's giving you that effect. I can't think. <laughs> That way it gives you the fact it makes it more 3D-ish, more cooler. So you really want to practice going big to small. So, hey George. And here we just talk about different cracking. So there's like all different ways you can do your cracks on a skull. It's artist preference, you know, no real way. I lately have been liking these cracks more than these cracks. Our haunt mistress, yes. Aubrey, you would love chiclets. Here, uh, there's no real wrong way to do a nose, but here are some examples of noses. Hey, Alex. Hey, Michelle. And here you can see we just, on the back of this handout, we kind of laid out a step-by-step, -step and we showed you, like, how you can do a color skull. So... Yeah, so that's it with the worksheet. Do we have any questions before we dive into makeup? 
Yes, Sylvia. Nice. Nice, Sylvia. I'm gonna try to keep up with y'all's comments as much as I can. I have teenagers helping me, so we all know how that goes. The great thing about skulls, guys, is you can do them at haunted houses. You can do them for Halloween makeup. I love you too, Michael. You can do them at festivals. You can do them at birthday parties. You can do them all sorts of ways. So <clears throat> one thing I like to do with my skulls is I like to go in with a flesh tone first, and then I'm going to lay my white highlights. Oh, why were the shirts? Like a good shirt. Okay. So this is the uh, flesh tone by Pro Air. All right, so we're just gonna start laying down. Remember, we're just gonna we're gonna do half skulls for sake of time today. So with our white highlights, think of it this way: <clears throat> anywhere you feel the bone sticking out is where you want to stick your white highlights. And yes. I love my Pro Air Lunchbox Compressor. It is amazing. And this gun, I don't know if you guys have tried this Pro Air gun out. This is an amazing gun. I love it. Someone said what um, So for the base, Rosa, we use the Flesh Color by Pro Air. And then we're going to go in with our white highlights. Okay, that's cool. So remember, again, the high points, you put your white highlights. And then your, think of it this way. Your holes, anywhere you feel a hole in your face <laughs> that is where you are going to put all your dark shading and all of that yes the lunchbox compressor is amazing and you get a gun you get a gun with it a hose a thing of black ink amazing so we're just going to start laying down these highlights and i'm going to kind of go so, you know, the eye socket, that all sticks out. So we're going to go right in there. Turn your face so that people can see what I'm doing. Think of like you're doing beauty makeup. It's like a highlighter. I'm going to hit that. I want that jawline to be nice and strong. So I'm going to hit that jawline right there on the chin. Right here on the nose. You don't have one flat base. You have nice nice uh base where it's showing and when we're done with it, it you know the white is gonna pop so white's gonna pop and make it look like it's standing out <clears throat> we're gonna go in with a light brown from pro air so remember what i said wherever there's a hole in the face is where you're gonna start laying your brown so close your eyes so i'm gonna do a light spraying right here in the corner of the eye i'm gonna do it right here in the other corner we're gonna go a little right here. And then remember our skulls, they all have temples. And for the, the cheekbone, my Alejo taught me this a while ago. For the cheekbone, instead of doing like this, you kinda wanna go in circles and this is gonna give you less of a harsh lay down. All right, so we're gonna go in. And then there's the whole, you gotta turn this way, baby. And then there is the whole everybody forgets about, which is right in this area. Someone said I'm beautiful, thank you. <laughs> All right, and then we're just gonna do a little on the nose. And then I'm gonna reshape her eye. I'm just gonna take it a little over her eyebrow give her a little bit of a bag down here. I already have those. I think everybody has bags right now. Oh, it's everybody holding up in quarantine. <laughs> so one thing I really want to talk about is, you know, we all know it's coming. We all know our industry is going to take a little bit of a, a beating after this. Um, you know, and I really think that people should really consider investing in airbrushing because think of it this way, you can market it as no contact because mothers will love that. It will set their mind at ease because unfortunately- Someone said how long does it take you to set up and break down a basic? 
Uh, like at a festival. Um, it depends on how many days we're there and how much stuff I bring. But not long. Like if I took like a basic breakdown, maybe like a half an hour, if that. Um, but yeah, so like you really want to think about investing in airbrushing so you can market it to your festivals, to your birthday parties that you offer no contact and like Troair and like Silly Farm and all of them, they all have really good like stencils you can use if you're not, you know, you don't want to do freehand stuff. So you guys, and you know, you really should invest in an airbrush because you can, here's the beauty with airbrushing, you can upsell it. You can upsell and you can make more money. You can learn Wiser's tattoos. You can learn airbrushing faces. Like it really will just help add to your income already. Someone said what about the stencils? Don't they touch the face? So, and, and the way around that is between each kid, this you put the stencil into like you'd have like a little Tupperware thing full of 99% alcohol so it's sanitizing the stencil before each after each kid someone said do you use multiple guns at a festival or just one um I use one <laughs> I'm horrible uh I learned with one gun and um I do have two guns now now that I got this nifty pro air gun so I'm going to start. And like when I'm doing Wiser's tattoos at a, a a festival, like I only use the tattoo color by Pro Air. All right. So we're going to go in with a little bit of black now. And we're just going to kind of touch very light where we just put all them brown. And you kind of, you don't want to fill all the brown in because... What's gonna happen is it's gonna make it look more like a hole because we're not just doing stark black. <clears throat> and I did forget to fill in her, oh, sorry. <laughs> Uh, let me see. Yeah. I did forget to fill in her eye brown because I started talking and, you know, I'm ADHD and I'm an artist. So, like, ooh, squirrel, you know. So, we'll go back in and fill that so in I'm with sorry, brown. What do you recommend learning airbrush pieces? Oh, where? <laughs> um, so, unfortunately, you know, all the conventions are at a standstill right now because of everything. But uh, Pro Air University, Donna's got some amazing artists and lots of different stuff to learn. Um, there's always Faba TV. You can catch me on Fab TV. Just Question for quick your shout daughter. out. As a client, what do you feel on your skin? It honestly, it doesn't feel like much. It, it just, it, it feels like your same skin, I guess. I oh, know I just woke up, so mind that. Do you cry when you You probably talk? feel the air from the Oh, yeah, you gun. feel the air from the gun, but it's just like... It's nice and light. Yeah, it doesn't feel like really gross foundation. So or we're just going to go in. Just kind of touch. Is anybody asking anything? Oh. Sorry. Oh, I guess I can't see. Now I'm just getting a little closer to sharpen that line. You'll get that sometimes when you get near the mouth. Mm -hmm. All right. Anybody asking questions? Do you cry when you dump the paint out of the out for color change or do you pour back into the so container? You try if so I have a top bead. So you want to try to only pour as much as you you're going to as you learn airbrush like you'll get better at that. You want to kind of only pour in what you need. Um sometimes I just I'll dump it back into the bottle because you know, if it's in here, it hasn't touched nobody. So it's still, you know, and it's, it's got alcohol, you know, so that helps. <clears throat> what, 
anybody ask anything? Someone said, can you demis demonstrate a dragger stripe strip? Oh, a dagger, dagger stripe? Uh, yeah, if I have time at the end, I'll show you. Dagger, so daggers, bleh. Dagger stripes are like the teardrops of the airbrushing world. Like, they t you need to practice, practice them. The best way to do is to have a board. And you literally, you kind of move with the gun. Like, you'll look silly doing it, but it helps. I will, I will demonstrate that if I have time at the end. <laughs> Close your eye. So we're just going to fill this in brown. What do you suggest? I don't have my glasses on, so that's why I have to read like this. <laughs> what do you suggest is the best airbrushing? So, Ooh. I really like Pro Air. I think Pro Air is very easy to work with. And what's great is if you have the hybrids, you can brush and sponge with them also. And then you can also use them in your airbrush gun. So, like, I highly recommend Pro Air. And then someone said, what? What brand of paint do you recommend for a beginner slash practice versus on the job? And then someone said, can you place a photo afterwards? So yes, I, I will post photos afterwards. Um, I, re I, I recommend Pro Air. Um, face paint wise, I recommend Fab. All right, close your eyes. Oh, thank you, Shane. I look good. All right, so I'm just going to go back and touch and... And I'm just doing a little bit of shadowing in that eye now. I don't know if can they see. All right. So we're just doing a little bit of shadowing around. But we're not getting that brown. We're not getting rid of the brown altogether. Someone said, what Pro Air are you using? Is it water-based or hybrid? So these are the hybrids. I'm using the hybrids. Um, now, at festivals... Or if I'm at the hunt and I'm doing this kind of stuff and I, I want to go in with line work, I will use uh, the solids. But for the sake of time today, we're going to go in and use uh, Fab Black. So here I'm just going to start to... Do you stick to waterproof makeup or any water based in your jobs? What was the question? Do you stick to waterproof makeup or any water based in your jobs? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I have lots of water-based product, um, but like I was kind of mentioning earlier, I really think the future of our industry is hairbrushing because unfortunately, even if we find a vaccination and all that good stuff, the fear has set in. So like, I really, I, I mean, I hate to say it, but I, I think I'd rather be prepared <laughs> than not prepared and i really think as an artist it's good to learn all aspects of that art form and someone said uh what color was the shadow not the black but the brown so this is uh this is a brown uh it's pro airs brown but i kind of mixed it with some other colors so this is a uh, i made the color <laughs> and then with pro air ink uh, can you use regular face paint over there? Air yes, paint. and I'm going to show you that right now. I'm going to go in and do line work uh, with face paint. But usually, like if I'm at the haunt where actors sweat, I will go in with solids because they're more water resistant, sweat resistant. All right, so now we're just going to go in and we're going to start doing all our details. And when you go in with like line work, it, it really helps sharpen up your, uh, all your airbrush work. And then do these little doohickeys right here. Let them dry a little. And I'll show you how I do it at festivals. I make it like a half face and people, they live for this face. So remember that here's the hole that everybody forgets about. This hole right here, everybody forgets about that hole. 
Now this how I do like to fill in black. And I like just a little haze around it. Um, I am using a Paint Pal brush from Silly Farm. All right. So then I'm just gonna kinda go like that. All right, so can you guys still see? Oh, I really, you know, did anybody catch Aubrey's class yesterday? That was a great class. Um, and uh, Mark's class, Mark's, <laughs> I, I, <clears throat> I caught the end of Mark's class when they were auctioning off that paint. That was a lot of fun. That was fun to watch, especially because there's a lag on the Facebook Lives. Yes, Ruth, I do have a festival uh, board. If you send me a message, um, I will send you uh, an example of it. And if anybody wants to shoot me a message after, I'll send you the, uh, the worksheet I have. So then we're just going to go in. We're going to kind of do these little lines. We'll do these three little ones right here. So this is like more of a, uh, this is going to be more of your like party, festival face, haunt face. Um, so that's what we're doing, so. Can you use the hybrids for line work instead of solids? Yes, yes. You can use the hybrids. You can paint with them. You can sponge with them. They're a, an amazing product. So, I'm just going to do... What do you do when using water-based? The paint takes longer to dry, so using stencils is proving to be a pain. Just, just because not all jobs are good to, for grow air use. Need quick wash off, so any idea to speed up when using stencils? Michelle, I will, um, I will find your comment after the live's over and answer that, because <laughs> it's going so quick. Uh, Yes, past classes. You guys can still watch all the Pro Air University classes. Go to Donna's page. Go to the Pro Air page. So let's get a smaller brush. And we're going to do some cracking up her nose, which is a nice touch. So we're going to do... Sorry, I'm Shane like painting out of... Shane said your son looks so handsome. James uh, is not in here. Oh, Shane, you're so nice. He's talking about you. That's not all right, nice. I need you to sit still. So we're gonna go up with one little line. And the thinner you can get these lines, the better. So we're just gonna do quick nose. And remember, you don't wanna cover all that brown in there. You can kind of flick up, or you can go back in with your black. No one said I have half of a beautiful face, thank you. She appreciates that. Someone said, send her some new paint ASAP, make a tip, people. <laughs> Whoever said that, thank you. Wendy, thank you. <laughs> it's a, uh, yeah, I mean, here's, here's, here's the evidence. That, that looks that gross. <laughs> Ew, it's brown, so it just looks Hey, like... the best colors in scary makeup are the grossest. Donna, ha, Pro Air has a really good pus color. I don't know if anybody has their pus color, but that is an amazing color. So then we're going to go in. We're just going to kind of bring up that temple right there. Kind of blend it out with your finger if you're using... Someone said, damn, that looks like a baby accident. Uh... Um, that's exactly what that looks like. I know, that's what I thought it, that's what, that's why I was like, go in. So you can't wash your face after you go off, because I'm gonna have to get pictures of you. As long as I can go lay back in my bed. <clears throat> Alright, so teeth. Teeth are some of the, like, biggest things I hear with skulls, is teeth, how do you make the teeth look good? So for festivals, I do the teeth really quick, really easy. I'm just going to go in and with them. So remember, you want to go big to small. 
And then I'll go in and I'll flick white in there. And then I'll do these little doohickeys right here and right here. And, you know, depending on, <clears throat> depending on what your line looks like, you know, you can always decide how much you want to put into the skull. After using tips and silence for a while. You, yes, I believe, I, I believe dips, dips are good for painting with. Uh, we're going to need you not to laugh, knock the camera down on the <laughs> I wasn't trying. Right, let's go in. We'll the picket fence and dimple teeth. I don't know what that means because I'm not a face painter. <laughs> I'm a face painter. I don't know what that means, Wendy. <laughs> All right. I don't even think that's a face painting reference, actually. So you can see, like, with the teeth, I went big to small. And then I'm literally just going to go in and flick out. Oh way too much water just gonna flick and that's all i'm gonna do for teeth because <clears throat> like festivals like if we're doing this for a photo shoot it's different but like for your parties for your fairs and festivals like don't sit there and take a lot of time on the teeth because the kids just gonna you know if you're doing water base they're just gonna lick it off fair fairly soon Wait, someone speaking of lips, someone said, how do you handle the lips being so thickly for kiddos? Wait. I, I don't have lips, lips so. I mean, I guess, I don't know, practicing, it helps you diff, that helps you learn different shapes of the lips and the nose, nose, lips, and hairline. So, like, the more skulls you do, the more you're going to learn, like, if you have a lower hairline. Like, you'll see my next daughter that's going to come on. She has a low hairline. All right, so now we're going to go in. We're going to add some white highlights, especially where you have, like, the where you want it to look like a hole. So we'll do right here the hole that everybody forgets. And like, you know, fair festival doing this like in real time and not teaching and answering questions. Like it takes me probably seven minutes. <laughs> oh, we love Kathy. I love you, Kathy. I met Kathy at convention and her cute little dog. She was so nice. Hey, we just got a dog. <clears throat> I don't know where she is. Fun fact, guys. We're all hunkered down even more in quarantine because my mother was exposed to the corona so she had to get tested and we're not allowed to do anything f for like four to five days because that's how long it takes to get the results back so we're all just like crying. anxiety is high here yeah i'll tell that to my parents I'm all sure right but i'm here teaching all right so we're gonna go around the eye We're gonna hit around this nose with our white highlight. Sorry if my hand's in the way, I'm try I try to make it to where that wouldn't be too much of an issue. It's all right, hopefully, you know, it's positive oh, thoughts, oh negative, negative results. <laughs> Someone said I look like her. Um, she's an actress. My mother. Oh, not my mother. Your mother. Oh, uh, yeah. My grandmother is fine. I mean, she doesn't feel good right now, but we. I'm hoping she just has the f something else. <laughs> we would look up. Sometimes I'll go in with little white highlights there. And then I will also hit the cheekbone. Are you using dips for the line work or water base? For uh, line I'm work? using water base right now just for the sake of trying to keep this live under an hour. So turn your head. Here. And I'll bring it from here. This is going to be your basic skull. Oh, wait. I forgot one. So with my black light skulls, it's the same concept, except instead of white airbrush, Ink, I'm going to go in with Ghost Glow from Pro Air, 
Which that stuff is really cool. Like it's invisible and regular light. What is and your only favorite skull? My favorite skull. Uh, probably, probably this bloody skull I do. Cause you know, I love blood. <laughs> she doesn't typically get, let me paint her or airbrush her. So this is a, this is a very special. So you guys are going to see like, she has a lower hairline. So you'll see like it, it. All right, so we're going in. And you guys will see when we hit this with the black light, how it kind of, the effect it gives. Class. So we're just gonna do the same thing we did with the regular skull, but we're going in with the black light ink, which is gonna show up in the black light. All right, so now we're gonna go in with some black. Close your eyes. D don't squeeze. I don't like <laughs> oh my it. God, I Cause you don't do it right away. All right. Well, okay. So if you have a kid that's doing this, start the gun over here, and then with and remember, cause the more you pull back, the more you're getting ink. So if you're just pushing and not pulling back, it's just air. You're not getting any ink on you. So start right here and move to them. Is that better? All right. So, let me see Perfect right. duo, Mandy and Alejo. Yeah. Oh yeah, we are, we are a trip. If you have seen us live, you know. So this is a great tip. Start here with the air on, that way they feel the air coming. How far away is the gun for her, her face? Um, so, and that's, you know, that's something also with airbrushing, like going, you know, close, you're going to get more crisp back. You're going to get more of that beautiful haze. Mm, right. So we're going to quickly do some line work. And that, you know, this is going to be exactly like the regular skull. Yeah. Except this is going to be a black light skull. Look up. All right, so we're gonna, I'm gonna do a different nose just so you can see. So we'll just do the very classic skull nose. Just wrap them out. So do that same squiggly line going up and then over. Connect to the nose. Connect to the nose. And do some more. I thought of the nose. All right. So let's finish up with this hole. So with like black light, you can make your lines nice and thick with this so they stick out more. So look here, do your teeth. Do our little squiggly things. All right, so we're just gonna go in just like we did with the regular skull. And like, if you wanted to, you can do like the black light yellow or green for the teeth and like your highlights. But we're just gonna go in with white today so y'all can see it. And like, you could change up. Quarantine makeup diaries. You can change up, you know, instead of blue, you can do green. You can do yellow, you know, it's up to you. I forgot to do your temple. There we go. Out of my hair. Your temple. So then we're just gonna go around the holes. I'm painting sideways, so it's like really weird. <laughs> but I was trying to make it good for you guys so you guys could watch. Yeah, this is the Flow Blue from Pro Air. Flow Blue? Yeah, Flow Blue. 
Alright, so yeah, you just hit all those lines up. I'm just going to do one more layer on the teeth. Because if you've worked with black light, white, you know. <laughs> it's very translucent. So we'll just add some glitter to it. And this, wait till you see this glitter in the black light. It is amazing. Look at that glitter though. Look at that glitter. I don't know if you can see like how the effect it gives. I don't know if the camera's picking it up. I see it in person, but. Thank you guys for tuning in to my live. I'm sorry my stuff is backwards. Just message me. Um, I want to thank Donna and Erica and the whole Pro Air family. Thank you for having me. Thank you for having um, all these university, Pro Air university classes. Uh, thanks guys. I think that is all. And here's a very scary close up of my face. On that note, I wish you all a beautiful day. Goodbye. Farewell, so long, I feed us.